My name's Jeb, and it's time to pick the peppers. Did you know you can grow a plant in a tub of water? Of course, that has its own set of challenges. Using oversized containers helps keep enough oxygen in the water. The roots die if they can't breathe. Keeping the right amount of plant available minerals is important too. We can't all grow peppers in the winter. Actually we can if we do them indoors. This three by three space lets you choose your own grow size. My size is large. Check out my Mars Hydro Grow Tent and Light. You just pop these pipes together, so it's easy setup for beginners. All these tubes and vents let you optimize your grow environment. You can grow whatever crops you want in here. It's all covered with screens, so you can keep the pests out. Check out the highly reflective walls. You can prevent light leaks, so you can keep the light in or out. This durable tent will last you several years and the cost is cheap. Cold November temps are not great for pepper growth. They do keep the roots healthy though. Pest pressure is reduced in winter. Can they survive a light frost? I assume these ones were lost due to cold temperatures. The south facing plants are doing fine.
Modest harvests mark the end of winter. Anybody want a pepper? Warmer temps wake up the garden pests. The plants are starting to drink more now. Time to check the PPMs. Seems like pepper roots aren't as bothered by dying and growing back. Plants need to be relocated. Maybe a nutrient change every six months isn't a bad idea either. What am I going to do with all this empty space? think they're dying, they just grow back.
buy some Mars Hydro tents or grow lights in the video description.